Oh my gosh, y'all done done it now. Andy Ruiz is looking in crazy shape ahead of his December 7th rematch with Anthony Joshua. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up below November 2nd, ESPN Plus. Get the pay-per-view, ESPN Plus pay-per-view. Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal for the BMF title. And it's going to be, the winner is going to be um, presented the belt by The Rock. So it should be a good night and I'm looking forward to it. Now, another upcoming fight, December 7th rematch we all want to see. And that's Joshua versus Ruiz. And... You know, really, there was a lot of speculation that Andy Ruiz made some money and he was buying jewelry and hanging out with rappers and celebrities and buying whips and bought his mama a crib, bought himself a new house, relocated. And there were people suggesting that he had lost the hunger and he was, you know, on some Robin Leach lifestyles of the rich and famous type shit. And that was going to do him a disservice well once again i told you on my channel that i didn't see anything wrong with what andy ruiz had been doing while his fight was being negotiated the rematch of course and i would be more concerned if andy ruiz got out of back-to-back -back fights he fought demantrinko on pbc on the danny garcia adrian granados card and then got a late last minute call to fight joshua and he had five weeks to train, did the unthinkable, became a celebrity overnight, blah, blah, blah. And I would be more concerned if after back-to-back -back fights earlier this year for his third fight, he just jumped right into the mix and, you know, potentially overtrained. So I didn't see anything wrong. Once again, new media prevails. And you have people like Eddie Hearns, who said that Joshua um, is going to be so ready and Andy Ruiz still looks tubby. And he looks like he's heavier than the first fight. Well, exhibit A, this is a recent picture of two people, obviously, that are going to be in the Saudi Arabia card. And that's Andy Ruiz Jr. and Michael Hunter. And if you look at him next to it, Michael Hunter, keep in mind, is a cruiserweight who moved up and he's had some success. We'll analyze it. Ego Weight Watchers, where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before after progress pictures, especially when they have an upcoming fight. So let's look at it. Let's look at both fighters. You look at uh, Andy Ruiz's face looks a bit smaller. And obviously, this is the most impressive. He's definitely like his upper body. He's definitely lost some size. You know, he has big legs like thighs and, and calves. Obviously, I'm not trying to dissect him like that, but you guys get what I'm saying. Ego Weight Watcher style. He almost looks a little bit like. Maybe it's just this picture. I don't know. But, you know, this is a cruiserweight that just moved up. And he almost looks, you know, relatively as narrow or, you know, similar build. Like, it doesn't look like they're in two different weight classes or something. And this is, again, a cruiserweight that moved up. So, Eddie Hearn was definitely wrong saying that Joshua still tubby. And I made a video about this. See, the UK got to really stand up for what's real. I understand boxing was originated from the UK and there was a point in time where the UK had, you know, 13, 14 active current champions and they had that little spark and they liked it. And now the things have changed over the years. A lot of those champions are no longer champions, etc. And they, you know, some of the people from the UK want to be in the limelight still, which is cool. I get it. It makes sense. But at the end of the day, we got to be realistic and we got to hold the people accountable in the sport of boxing for what they say. And in my honest opinion, this this is foolish that Eddie Hearn says and suggested that Ruiz with a full camp is somehow tubbier, fatter or heavier than what he was getting the call, not being a superstar getting the call with five weeks to train and prepare and string together some kind of BS training camp 
and you really think he's heavier. You know, look at this picture, bro. Andy Ruiz looks good, man. And once again, there's a lot of people that don't know shit about boxing. I told you, Andy Ruiz, his weight has kind of fluctuated over the years. Like, I think he was a big kid. You know, he always talks about kind of getting overlooked and bullied or I don't know if he said bully, but, you know, people always judged him on his weight and stuff like that. But then there was a point in his career before the Joseph Parker fight where he was about this size. So people seeing this size and being worried for Andy Ruiz, like, oh, he's he's doing too much or he's cutting too much weight, blah, blah, blah. You have to understand the pedigree. Andy Ruiz has had fluctuating weight like he's he's way 260 plus. But then he's also had moments in his career where he didn't wait. Like, I'm sure if I look deep enough, like people just see this, this picture of Ruiz and shit and think that his whole career, it was like that. No, but there was a period, period of time where he, he got pretty, pretty slim, just like I'm seeing here. And look, look right here. There's one of the pictures, you know, you can see it in his face. So his, his weight's always been kind of up and down. You know, here, here's another picture. See? This is an old picture from March 2018. So he's been here before. Like he's been at this weight. He actually looked a little bit smaller back then. So I'm not really worried about, you know, Andy Ruiz. Look. These are old March 2018 videos. Look, he's already cut weight. He's, he's been here before. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not worried about, oh, he lost too much weight and he's not going to look the same. He's just merely getting in shape, eating better and training hard for the Joshua rematch. He has a personal chef, Zoe's meals or whatever, preparing his. And the thing that people don't understand about this boxing game and like a guy like Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, no matter what shape he's in, he's not Homer Simpson. Like even if he looks big like that, He's still athletic. He's still like, I know. And, and see, this it's, it was weird because I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this, but I know there's a lot of people. It's like almost like they don't even watch sports. Like you look at football, for example. I know people have played football and even in the NFL, you see tons of guys who look, if you just seen him at Trader Joe's or something, you would be like, oh man, this dude fat, but they will run miles and outrun you and outperform you and you'll get tired you can look see that's what i'm saying shape is i'm not gonna say it's, it's it's mental but it's more than meets the eye you know like you think some of these these big ass dudes who just look big in the nfl you think you're gonna outwork them and get on the treadmill and this is what they do year round some people's body they are what they are that's why the body shaming with eddie i mean with um Andy Ruiz never really made sense because some people, like I said, they have the inherent shape and genetics that they have, but they're still athletic. You know, it's not like a Homer Simpson, um, my 600 pound life type of weight. Like they're still active at the higher weight and they do stuff that's impressive for that size. Right. Like, look, you know, like he's working and I've seen Andy Ruiz do ladder drills and stuff. You know, he's still working. People people have this misconception that, you know, he's out of shape and... Just one. Yeah, same thing, just one. Damn, he hit that. You get what I'm saying? So there's different levels to shape. Like this is some past pictures, 2017. So like I said, as you see, 2017, 2018, Andy Ruiz was on his shit. But then I think he kind of ballooned up a bit more because he wasn't really fighting for top top rank. You know, they didn't really have him active after the Joseph Parker loss. They didn't have him active. So who knows if his motivation and shit change you're not fighting some guys they need to be fighting this is what they do this is their livelihood of course but they need to be see look at andy ruiz right there you know he look he look in shape right there but anyway some guys are they have to be fighting you know they'll get distracted they'll have bad eating habits if they don't have nothing see look at andy ruiz right there you know look at his face look at his arms and shit he's just 
He's just big in general. But I think Andy Ruiz is probably like that. If if he doesn't have anything lined up, then it'll probably be worse for him. You know, he needs to be somewhat active and motivated. Otherwise, he can get big, you know, and he can balloon up. Ooh, this is a this is an old clip though for the for the record. But um, yeah, man. So I think that's what it is. Oh, here here's the ladder. Look at this. You, you mean to tell me if a Homer Simpson shaped person they can do this? Look, ah uh, ah. Uh. Look, look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. Knees high, knees high, knees high, knees high. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The average person who built like Ruiz, who's not an athlete, is not doing that. You know, they're not going to do all that. But anyway, I want to give you guys an update. They're doing the um, Rocky Balboa. Let me tell you something you already know, kid. The world ain't on sunshine and rainbow. You got Andy Ruiz. He's like the real life Rocky, you know? But bottom line is new media stays winning. Eddie Hearn and old media was dead wrong. He said Andy Ruiz did not lose any weight. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Eddie Hearn says that Andy Ruiz appears heavier, but he's next to a guy who just moved up from cruiserweight and they look in the same weight class. And, you know, he just, he, he looked like he's coming down, bro. He looks like he's coming down in weight. So I don't want to hear any excuses. And this is the thing we got to get past. And this is what I, hopefully um, with my voice in the sport, we can keep moving the needle in the right direction where we have real life boxing conversations, not this oh like BS and stupid stuff and calamity in the comment sections where we really talk boxing. But the thing is this, you can't have old media can't have their cake and eat it too. When Andy Ruiz was posting his meals and shit and he was eating, eating out and eating clam chowder and steak and all that, they said he was unmotivated and, you know, Joshua's going to sleep him and all this stuff. And then now he looks in shape. See, see look. Look. You can put that work in. Uh, Joshua would be doing that too. Losing that weight. See, look at him right there. I'm more than a boxer. I'm a, a doctor as well. I give shots for free. So look at it. Doctor Andy. Doctor Andy. What the hell? Is <laughs> what the? I don't know what they doing. What type of stuff? What the hell? This is crazy. He giving them his friends some vitamins and shit. But anyway, um, the bottom line is, old media can't have their cake and eat it too. They sat up here and said Andy Ruiz was eating too much and buying too much and so worried about being a celebrity and you know he was on these shows and jimmy kimmel and people complained about that they said he lost the passion now all of a sudden he's in shape after they hate it bro i told you it was fear you know eddie hearn he can't honestly believe that full camp ruiz with all this on the on the line full camp ruiz is heavier than he was with only five weeks notice he can't honestly believe that you get what i'm saying so they can't have their cake and eat it too. Old media cannot have their cake and eat it too, where they said he was unmotivated and distracted and he wasn't training hard. And then now he's in shape and now they're going to say he's too skinny. You know, you just can't please everybody. So he got to do his thing. And again, for Andy Ruiz to be in this shape, this is not even the best shape that I've seen him in. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's in bad shape. He looks like he's putting the work in. But I'm saying I've seen him smaller than this. So I'm not really worried about Andy Ruiz. I'm still picking Andy Ruiz. And if anything, Joshua is the one losing size. And to me, that's a little bit more concerning because Joshua looks, he looks a lot smaller. Like, he looks a lot smaller. And I don't know with his style, I don't know if that's really of benefit. Look at this is Joshua. 
So I guess Joshua is trying to, you know, come in lighter too. But Joshua looks a lot. He looks a lot smaller. And I'll probably do a separate video about this. But he looks a lot lighter and, and things like that. And I don't know if he's trying to go back to his roots of, you know, when he first turned pro or when he was an amateur and shave some of that bulk off. But no matter what he does, I don't think certain thing is hard to explain. But like your chin, you're born with the chin you have. You know, there's not really much you could do to like have a Vander Holyfield chin. You know, have this crazy chin if you were born with out one you know if it, like amir khan he could do all the exercises he wants but it's not going to give him a holy field chin you know things like that so i think speed is kind of like that there's things you could do little things to you know improve your fast twitch muscles but if you're naturally fast as fuck then that's just what it is you know because i know guys that are fast and they don't have to do anything like i knew this kid even like with muscles i knew this kid he did not work out and he was buff as fuck and he didn't work out at all. And we were in elementary school. And he was like buff then. And he did not do nothing like other than regular kid activities and monkey bars and stuff like that. But he was buff as shit. So ultimately, whether Joshua slims down or not, that might influence his style negatively, potentially. Because he he's big, you know, imposing, 6'6", six, six, and he's a tank. You know, maybe harder to move, you know, for a guy like Klitschko. And he just has that imposing characteristic to him with his style. But if he's coming in lighter and, and Ruiz is coming in lighter, then Joshua might be more fragile. You know, I, I, we have to see him because he hasn't decided to lose this much muscle mass before. You get what I'm saying? So this could affect Joshua's overall durability, you know, or coming down in all muscle mass. You know, you can you're. 30 i think he just had a birthday he's 30 or whatever age he is you know things like that could influence your performance where you get tired quicker and lethargic if you dump a lot of muscle and you know it's just weight is a very very um what's the word it's just a very you have to be particular about your weight is you know it's very sensitive it's a very sensitive thing and ruiz again i'm not really worried about him because I've seen his weight fluctuate and I've seen him about this size and I've even seen him smaller and he had good performances. Joshua, all his big fights, he was like, you know, he man, you know, he was this action hero build, you know, Mr. Olympia shape. So I don't know how he's going to look lighter. And nonetheless, I don't think he's going to be faster. I, you know, you can lose weight. You're not going to, you're not going to be more of a fluid puncher and a combination puncher than Andy Ruiz, who's been doing this his whole life, based on you shedding some pounds, you know? So, we'll see. Joshua still obviously has a chance. He's a good fighter, but we'll see how it all plays out. Andy Ruiz, um, keep trucking. I'm impressed with the shape he's in. Ego Weight Watchers, you know the originator of these these weight videos where we, we talk about it. And Andy Ruiz is in good shape, man. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking the progress. And he shut the haters the hell up with um this picture alone you know and i think he sparred with michael hunter who's also on the card fighting povetkin which is a good fight and michael hunter could scrap you know he beat stopped bacoli and um ustinov those guys aren't necessarily i don't know about bacoli but ustinov's not an easy guy to necessarily stop right he got um knockdowns or a knockdown in his last fight so michael hunter's a good he's a good person maybe Usyk should rematch him and stuff but I think they even sparred. So that's good preparation. They're on the same card. Shout out to Michael Hunter. Shout out to Andy Reese. Shout out to Joshua. We're going to see it December 7th. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button, subscribe, donate, all that good stuff. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.